What's up guys, welcome back to our 66th video and I believe our form validation has been complete. I trust this. I don't think we can make it any more bulletproof. So now that I can trust my form, I can trust my data going to my database and back and forth. So what I wanna do is I wanna run an NFL statement right here to collect our error. So if we collect an error, then we will know where that error is. And if we didn't collect an error, you can go ahead and submit that form to our page. So what we need to do is create an if else statement. And let's just uh, go ahead and start typing it. So instead of everything outside of empty, we're gonna use empty this time. We need the variable of empty. So don't put an exclamation point right there. And what we're checking for is, is errors. Errors. And let's execute that. Let's put all of this inside what we want to execute. So if any of this is true, we'll collect an error. So let's give it an else statement. Let me look at my lines of code. I've got one there. This one's going to go, this one is going to refer to this one right there. And we need to execute one more for if else. I'm gonna pause this video and and count every single one of these curly braces. No, I think it's okay because um, TextMate would like give me a different color if I had like one too many. Never mind, no, it won't. Okay, we're gonna assume this is correct. We're gonna assume this is correct. And if this video is live and you can see it on YouTube, it's definitely correct because I'm gonna go back and edit it. If it goes through, it is correct. Okay, so what we're doing right here is if everything is true, here, I'll drop down a line. Let's focus on our if else statement. If everything is true in here, we can go on and collect our information. Okay, from the top, this is where our errors are going to go and else right here. Let's make a comment right now. This is where errors are happening. So we need to go ahead and create some SQL up in here. We'll do that in the next video to determine whether the information that we're trying to get through the form we created is the correct type of information. So for this video, just focus on our if else statement right here and make sure you're calling the correct, or you got the correct argument in there. And then um, all this information from the last video is just gonna be inside our first curly braces. So let me know if you guys have any questions with this. Make sure you guys have all of your single quotations and your braces and your brackets and your semicolons all there because if not, then your page will not run and it will be a fatal error or a warning. All right, guys, so good luck with this. Easy video. In the next video, we're definitely going to start typing some MySQL.